you start planning your first regimen. You don't have to go to Planned Parenthood to get your cholesterol or your blood pressure checked. If you want an abortion, you go to Planned Parenthood, and that's well over 90% of what Planned Parenthood does. This is a quote given by U.S. Senate John Kyle. And when I came across this quote, what really shocked me is the lack of knowledge on Planned Parenthood that, was, um, that he was given. Um, Planned Parenthood is viewed as good and bad, but no matter the viewpoints, it provides so many things that many are unaware of. We are all growing teenagers and adults, and no matter how much we think we know about our health care, we don't really understand and truly know the possibilities and services that are provided for us. Now, I'm credible to speak on this source because I'm someone who has done multiple research to scholarly articles, blogs, websites, and watched multiple videos on the subject. Now, Planned Parenthood is an organization that has provided men and women services ranging from family planning and birth control to treatment for sexually transmitted diseases for over 60 years. Now first, I will talk about how society perceives this agency. Then, I will discuss what Planned Parenthood really is. And lastly, I will inform you about all the services Planned Parenthood offers and um, offers for women and men and what the world would be like without it. Now, Hopefully not to this extent, but um, there are many misconceptions about Planned Parenthood. Now, I will explain to you Planned Parenthood's mission statement and the common misconceptions about Planned Parenthood. Now, Planned Parenthood's mission statement is to empower individuals to make independent, informed decisions about their sexual and reproductive lives. And recently, I've learned that the misconception of Planned Parenthood is that it is only an abortion clinic. Now, Planned Parenthood offers many different services depending on the patient's needs. And many believe that parent, Planned Parenthood is only for abortion or just for female care, which is not the case. Now, going to Planned Parenthood doesn't mean that you subscribe to a specific set of values. It's simply there for whatever you need. Now, let me tell you about the services that they offer. Now, Planned Parenthood is one of the nation's leading providers of high quality, affordable health care, and the nation's largest provider of sex education. And according to authors Deborah Goldschmidt and Ashley Strickland on August 1st, 2017 on web CNN, she discusses how they provide so many services, not only for women, but for men too, um, such as abortion, abortion referral, birth control, emergency contraception, HIV services, LGBT services, men's and women's health services, patient education, STD testing, treatment, and vaccines. Now, they also provide family planning, which is a way for women to plan out how and when they want to have their family developed. And many are unaware of all these services that they do because they simply just don't take the time or they've just never been taught um, all this stuff that Planned Parenthood provides for them. Now, um, lastly, I would like to discuss what the world would be like without Planned Parenthood. Now, if current defunding efforts and attacks on Planned Parenthood work, and the doors are locked, the 2.5 million people who depend on the organization for care could face many hardships. Now, according to author Brittany McNamara, who wrote on her website, Teen Vogue, on May 12, 2017, she explains that a world without Planned Parenthood would mean less STD prevention, education, and potentially more STDs, no more critical screenings for women or men that prevent cancer, and resulting to many more dangerous methods, such as women trying to find other ways to get abortion. Mm -hmm. Many will lose access to basic health, basic health services, advice, and help. Um, now this was a statistic um, on a Arizona blog by the Washington Post on September 4th, 2015. And this pie chart was just given to show us the percentages of what Planned Parenthood does. Now that I have discussed all three main points of Planned Parenthood, the services they provide, and what the world would be like without it, let's wrap this speech up. Now, I talked about how the organization is perceived, I discussed the services that they provide, and what the world would be like without the organization. Now, Planned Parenthood is a program designed to help women and teenagers make the right decisions dealing with abortions, birth control, pregnancy, and women's and men's health. And in many communities around the world, Planned Parenthood is the only source of affordable, quality reproductive health care services and information. Thank you.